Hello viewers, reporting for newsbabgo.com, I am Makanaka Masinyama. Opposition MTC leader Nelson Chamisa has rejected an invitation to give oral evidence before the Commission of Inquiry in the deadly August 1 post-election violence. Headed by former South African President Halema Mohlante, the Commission wrote Chamisa this Wednesday. In his letter, Mohlante said, since Chamisa had been mentioned for allegedly inciting the violence, it was only fair that he is given an opportunity to address the panel. However, addressing a press conference at the MDC's Harare head offices Thursday, Chamisa said he was surprised the commission is now asking for oral evidence, having initially invited written statements. The opposition leader said he would only appear before the commission if President Emerson Munangagwa and his two deputies are also summoned. Munanga Gwendi's deputies, Chamisa said, are answerable for the deployment of soldiers in central Harare on the fateful day. They must be able to invite Mr. Munangagwa, they must be able to invite Mr. Chiwenga, they must be able to invite Mr. Kembo Mahadi, they must be able, and that's why we have said there's folly in that kind of a commission. Because you can't invite Munangagwa so that you report to him. Munangagwa can't investigate himself, he has been implicated. Because if he has been asked to say he was written a letter, but there was no instruction that came from him to say that let there be deployment, whatever, then he must actually come and explain that position. Because that is the most crucial matter. That is the nub and the crux of the matter, as we say at law. And that is the matter that has to be questioned and interrogated. So yes, we would want to see also uh, if Mnangagwa is going to go there. If he's not going to go there, why should I go alone? You know? <laughs> Chamisa also rejected allegations by senior police officers that incited the August 1 violence which left six people dead and other several injured. ZRP Commissioner General Godwin Matanga told the commission that police are ready to arrest Chamisa for inciting the violence. Chamisa, as it is well known, MDC supporters have suffered violence at the hands of the state and ZANU-PF over the years. He dismissed allegations by the security services that the August 1 killings were carried out by MDC Vanguard Youth Militia, saying the group does not exist in the party structures. The first respondent, the second respondent, the last respondent in this matter is the head of state. Because you can't tell me that there are people who are supposedly holding guns in a country and you don't do anything about it. It's normal business. MDC has a military wing. They are training people at office house and it's normal. You have a terrorist organization in a country. You engage that terrorist organization in parliament. You go to, 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 to an election with a terrorist organization. Is that normal? But it tells you one thing. Lies have very short legs. Mr. Mnangagwa is the head of state, whether declared, undeclared, elected or unelected, that's another thing. But he is there. He must be able to account for everything that happens in a country. A commission of inquiry is not necessary. We need a commission of inquiry for other things, like Itai Zamar. Those are the commissions of inquiry who would want, and having Interpol to also come in. Not this one. The press conference was attended by senior MDC leadership, among them Secretary General Douglas Monzora and Deputy National Chairman Tendai Biti. Reporting for newsabablo.com, I am Makanaka Masanyama. For these and more stories, do visit our website www.newsabablo.com and NewsMTV on YouTube.